start recording. So, good afternoon, everyone. And today we are going to start with unit eight. Uh, what are we going to check in this unit? We are going to talk about some activities and sports, and some of them uh, use some specific verbs, such as go, play, or do. So we're going to check that activities or sports that use the verbs go, play, and do. And we also are going to talk about some verbs that are going to be really useful for you when you are going to talk about shop or if you want to talk about clothes. So uh, the verbs we're going to use are want to, like to, need to, and have to. And later on, we're going to talk about how to ask for the price when you're going shopping. And also our vocabulary for this lesson, that would be colors, clothes, shopping, and all about prices. We also are going to talk about a little bit about some expressions that are going to take a help you to take some time in the case you're having a conversation. Those expressions are, mm, and let's see. So let's start with the first part, which is activities that go with go, play, and do. Last unit, we were talking about activities and sports. Do you remember? La unidad anterior, hablábamos bastante sobre las actividades que se pueden hacer en el aire libre y sobre algunos deportes. Lo que vamos a revisar esta vez es un par de actividades más y un par de deportes más. Y también vamos a ver con qué verbo se utiliza cada una de estas actividades. In this class, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to need you so you can chat with me and answer the following activities. Ustedes me van a ayudar con... Eh, los nombres de las actividades que tenemos aquí en los dibujos. Which are these activities? The first one, which is it? ¿Qué está haciendo ese joven ahí en, el, en la primera imagen? What is he doing? A skateboard. Very good, María Fernanda. He is skating. Number two, boy number two, what is he doing? He is with... It seems to be a sailboat. Está con un, un bote de, de vela. This activity is known as sailing. So try to remember this activity. Number three, what is he doing? Sarf, very good. In this case, what is he doing? Está subiendo una montaña. Very good, Marco. He's climbing a mountain. And this guy over here. What do you think he is doing? He has a bike. Tiene una bicicleta. So what do you think he is doing? Biking, very good, Maria Fernanda. And this guy, which seems to be screaming, parece que estuviese gritando, pero en realidad, sí, de hecho está gritando porque acaba de botarse de un avión. En paracaídas, how do you say paracaidismo? How do you say that extreme sport? Do you have any idea? You can use a skydiving. 
Cuando alguien se bota de un avión, pueden utilizar skydiving como una forma de deporte. We also have another sport that you uh, can do when winter has come. Cuando llegue el invierno, este deporte es muy común en algunos países. It's not snowing, it's skiing. Very good, Galo. Skiing. Excellent. So we have this boy with a ball. What will he play? Soccer. Very good. And this one, the green one. El que tiene the green cup. Golf. Very good. So how do you say um, what this kid with yellow shirt is doing? ¿Qué parece que está haciendo el niño de amarillo? Dancing. Very good. So we have some sports and activities that most of us have uh, someday perform. En algún momento de nuestras vidas hemos hecho estas actividades. Uh, don't forget we have some activities that end in ING. Hay algunas actividades que terminan con ING. Otras que en, en cambio tienen un nombre propio como por ejemplo golf. O tenemos también surf. And if I move on, before moving on, antes de cambiarme de diapositiva, do you know how do you say this activity? Here we have some activities that I haven't told you. It's a game that we are not so used to play here in Ecuador. Aquí no es muy común. Very good, baseball. And what about this guy at the end with the orange ball? It's a sport that everybody knows. Very good. It's basketball. Very good. Do you know how to say this sport? or this activity. Cuando ustedes van al gimnasio y levantan pesas, you're going to, yes, you're going to use weight training or weight lifting. Very good. Muy bien. What about this girl? She is really happy with her rope. What is she doing? She is jumping. Very good, Marco. She is jumping. And we also have the Hula hoop. Here it is. Some kids love to do hula hoop. Very good. Now that we know all these activities, we're going to learn how do we use them. We also have another extra activities here. And I'm really sure you know how to say all of them. ¿Cómo nos referimos a los niños que están aquí en la primera imagen? What are they doing? What are these kids doing? Playing. Very good. They are playing the guitar, the violin, the piano. And this girl, it's also doing Another activity. Yoga, very good. She is doing some yoga. We also have here some verbs that are really common. The first one, running, very good, Muffer. And here we have another one. They are, what are they doing? 
walking could be an option. And the other verb that it's really common is hiking. Hiking se refiere a hacer eh, una caminata por un sendero. ¿sí? Sería lo que algunos conocen como senderismo. No siempre eh, la diferencia entre hiking y climbing es que cuando ustedes escalan una montaña, una pared o algo, van a utilizar generalmente eh, lo que ustedes van a escalar es alto o tiene una cuesta. Sin embargo, cuando ustedes hacen hiking, puede ser sobre una superficie plana o sobre una montaña. ¿Sí? Es más un caminar por un sendero. And you also have some other verbs like this girl who has a horse. What is she doing? Right, very good, Grace. She is riding a horse or horseback riding. That would be the uh, activity she is performing. Horseback riding. We have a family here. It's the dad with the children. And one. what are they doing? They seem to be very happy. Yes, they are playing video games. Excellent. And here it's also Marquito trying to catch a fish. Very good. He is fishing. And the last two you have here, a lady and a small man. One is doing ballet. Very good, Nancy. And the other one, what is he doing? Boxing. Pretty good. You did it great. Excellent. So let's move on and check when do you use each verb. This is really important so you cannot make some mistakes. Here we have um, a list of sports and exercise. What are we going to do? We're going to check all the activities you have in each verb. For example, with go, we have some verbs. We have go bowling, go camping. What else do we have? We have go cycling, go dancing, go fishing, go golfing, go hiking, go ice skating, go running, go scuba diving, go snowboarding, go surfing, or go swimming. What's uh, the only thing all these activities have in common? What do you think? ¿Qué tienen en común todas estas actividades que van con go? What can you notice? Okay. Very good, Majo. Very good, Maffer. Jordan. Jordan. Más que el gerundio, sí, todas terminan en ING, todos lo hicieron muy bien. La mayor parte de las actividades que ustedes encuentren que terminan en ING van a utilizar el verbo go. Sí, es el caso de bowling, camping, cycling y todas las que vemos en la lista que tenemos ahí. What about do? Here you have some activities. Activities like do aerobics, do exercise, do push-ups. By the way, do you know what's the meaning of push-ups? ¿Qué significan los push-ups? When you go to the gym, you do these push-ups. Flexiones. Very good. Flexiones de pecho son los push-ups. And sit-ups, what would it be? 
¿Qué serán los sit-ups que también hacemos en el gimnasio? Sentadillas. Very good. Sentadillas. And here we have, we do some activities. Do exercise, do yoga, do warm up. Cuando ustedes van al gimnasio y se calientan. Todas las actividades que tengan que ver con, eh, que sean actividades o deportes individuales, van a ir con eh, el verbo do, ¿sí? O el caso también de deportes de combate. For example, give me an example of a combat sport. Un ejemplo de deporte de combate. Ok, do box. In this case, it won't be just box. It would be boxing. Para referirse al deporte, en este caso util utilizaríamos do boxing. Uh -huh. Karate. Very good, Brian. Karate. And we also have um, that we can use we can use uh, the verb do when we are talking about other activities. Sí, tienes razón, este Marco. Marco nos dice por qué eh, boxing que termina en ing Va con el verbo do y no con el verbo go. Va con el verbo do porque en este caso prima la regla de que los deportes de combate van a utilizar el verbo do. Es por esta razón que verbos como boxing o wrestling, que es lucha, se utilizan con el verbo do y no con el verbo go. Mucho ojo con esta situación. Si es que ustedes ven un, una actividad o un deporte que termina con ING, mucho ojo de qué es de esa actividad o de qué es de ese deporte. Si es un deporte que ustedes lo practican de forma individual como yoga o como ballet, ¿sí? van a utilizar do. Si tienen un, un deporte de combate que sería boxing, wrestling, eh, Kendo, Kempo, eh, Taekwondo, all those sports are going to go with the verb do. Siempre esos deportes que tienen o que implican combate van a ir también acompañados o antecedidos del verbo do. Muay Thai también es una buena, un buen ejemplo. Thank you, Mauricio. And we also, if you talk about other activities. Cuando nos referimos a otras actividades, estamos hablando de cosas, actividades como, por ejemplo, el calentamiento, a warm-up. ¿sí? Es una actividad diferente eh, a un deporte. ¿sí? Es una actividad que la realizamos antes de hacer ejercicio. Y que lo hacemos generalmente de forma individual. Por eso iría con el verbo do. And at the, at the end, we have um, the verb play. When do we use the verb play? As you can see here, you can use it with some sports. La mayor parte de deportes que implican... Uh, Trabajo en equipo o deportes de equipo y además deportes en los que está implicado generalmente eh, una pelota, con la excepción de golf, obviamente, eh, irían o utilizarían el verbo play. For example, play ba eh, basketball, play football, play soccer, play uh, volleyball, play tennis. Y todos esos verbos, todos esos, perdón, esas actividades o deportes que implican deportes de equipo o que impliquen el contacto con una bola o con una pelota, van a utilizar el verbo play. Don't forget that you can also use the verb play when you're talking about games. Cuando se refieren ustedes a algún tipo de juego, van a utilizar el verbo play. For example, play hide and seek. 
play hide and seek. I will write you over here. What's the meaning of hide and seek? Todos los niños cuando son chiquititos juegan a eso. What do you think it is? Escondidas, very good. Jugar a las escondidas would be play hide and seek. And the last thing you need to know is when you're talking about music. If you're uh, going to use, for example, play some, I will write you down here. I like to play some classic music. I like to play some classic music. Cuando ustedes van a referirse a géneros de música, pueden utilizar play cuando están tocando un género de música o cuando ustedes están tocando algún tipo de instrumento. Ese era el caso en la diapositiva anterior que teníamos algunos niños que estaban con qué? Con un piano, con una guitarra, con un violín. Cuando ustedes se van a referir al uso eh, de un instrumento musical, you're going to use the verb play. Don't forget. So, as you are very, very good at this, and you paid a lot of attention, vi que prestaron mucha atención, entonces, me van a ayudar ustedes a darme ejemplos con los tres verbos. Go, play, and do. Come on. Some examples. Each one of you can give me an example with each verb. ¿Con qué iría bowling, Marco? Okay, Maffer me dice go running. Okay. Brian, ¿con qué va? Todos, lo, todos con go. Very good. Primero con go. Alguien más me dijo por ahí cycling. Me dicen biking. What else? Dancing. King. Okay, surfing. Very good. Go hiking. Bowling. What else? Snowboarding, very good. And swimming. I think you catch it right away. Very good. Go fishing. Fishing is the one that it's missing over here. Thank you, Grace. Let's move on to, ah, very good, David. Skydiving. Or cycling, excellent. Uh, listen everyone, we're going to make uh, examples with the verb play. Let's do some example with play, 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 play. Okay, are you sure that you would say play exercise? Very good, play tennis. Basketball, soccer, very good. Play the guitar, play hockey, 
Hey, bing bong. Very good. Rugby. Very good. I have a ton of a ton of examples. You did a great job. Football. You're doing great. Very good. Uh, very good. Play the violin. Or play the ukulele. Very good. Very good. You did it awesome until play. Very, very good. Excelente hasta el verbo play. Let's think of some activities with the verb do, but those activities you're going to give me in the next session. Se nos termina el tiempo de la mitad de nuestra sesión y por eso vamos a dejarlo hasta aquí Pero vayan pensando en actividades que pueden realizarse con el verbo do y en unos minutitos ya nos volvemos a encontrar para poder continuar con esta parte de la sesión. Por favor, utilicen el mismo link para volverse a conectar, chicos. Ya me dan los ejemplos con do, Grace. Espera un momento. Volvemos a conectarnos y eh, iniciamos con los ejemplos. Quedamos hasta ahí. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> 